You'll notice that this is just a regular platform game. Okay, we have been working on this for some time now. Maybe we can, uh, let me just make this bigger. So we have more ground to walk on. There we go. So this is the example file. Let me show you the, uh, let me show you what we're making today. Let me just uh, save this. This is what our game is going to look like after we finish this video. This is what we're making today. We are making a 3D platformer. Whoa. It's a jumping worm in a 3D world. Wow, I almost felt that time. I don't think I can make that jump. Maybe I can. Oh yes, I can. There we go. Yeah, this is the same worm we have been working on. Except for this time, it's running in a 3D world. Now if you look under events, you can see that this is just a regular platform controller. So we're gonna make this uh, into 3D. Then, yeah, let's right click and let's insert a new object. Uh, this time we're going to need a 3D box. Yeah, to enable this. And this will give us this here. So let's click on the image bank editor. We're gonna make this uh, bigger. So we're gonna import the texture for the um, for the bricks. There is our uh, texture. Let's put this in the front, back, bottom, left, right, and back. And let's hit OK. Actually, let me let's make the depth uh, maybe a hundred. Okay, so maybe a hundred was a little too much. Let me uh, make this um, maybe eighty. Now if you run this now, you'll notice that nothing happens except for the worm falls into empty space. So let's make our 3D object a platform object. Let's add a behavior and let's make this a platform. Let's run this. And you can see that this works right away. Disable the grid and let's make this bigger. Let's set this up to minus 30. Try it out. Gonna make sure this is set to zero, the order. And this one is at, uh, let's make this 20, so it will be above everything else. Let's play it. And that sort of works already. Maybe we can push this in a little bit more. Let's try minus uh, 40. And that seems a little better. Cheryl, now all we have to do is uh, copy this brick. And we're gonna paste it. You can do it freehand or you can use the grid. Paste another one. Another one. That's the beginning of the level. We're gonna go down. That's the end of the level. Let's um let's play this and uh, we can't get out this way. So yeah, let's jump. And you can see that this is a uh, oops, a 3D game. Whoa! I think I made that too high. So there you go, that's how you can create a 3D platformer in GDevelop. Alright, so don't forget to subscribe, like the video, and I will see you in the next episode. Bye now.